instilled in that kind of leadership. From the start, it was Challenger Lee Thompson, once again taking jabs at Dan Glickman's 1976 promise not to serve more than 12 years, and Glickman explaining why he changed his mind. We have quote after quote after quote in black and white saying, I promise to retire after 12 years. The issue isn't seniority, he's right. The issue is whether you keep your word, and that's why I'm focusing on that issue today. As chairman of the Influential Wheat, Soybeans, and Feed Grain Subcommittee, which, by the way, is the primary reason I decided to run for another term when I became that chairman, I will be in a pivotal role to help our farmers. It was a proposed solution to the federal deficit, which found the men in their first agreement of the afternoon in the area of oil import fees. In my proposal, I suggested that revenues generated from that fee ought to be dedicated to surface transportation needs in this country. We need better highways. I agree with Lee. I think the oil import fee is a good idea. So are we looking at retaliation then? We are not because most of our oil does not come from markets that we sell our products to. Also at issue, funding for the AIDS treatment drug, AZT. Thompson said that the AIDS issue should stay out of the political arena, and Glickman wants to be sure that when we deal with the AIDS crisis, we don't pick other diseases which also kill people on a back burner. The men will have two more chances to square off before the voters take to the polls in November. Rhonda Schwab, Eyewitness News, Hutchinson.